this is Connie with the block of the month. I just wanted to do a quick summary of what's going on this month um, with these blocks. We have three different blocks that were um, embroidery blocks that we're doing today and two different designs for our stitch blocks. The first block is this one, should look familiar to you. This, it, um, just note that there are color changes and the color changes for this block are green two, pink one, and green six, okay? The second block that we have this month is this one. Note the beautiful detail they have on this one. Um, this is our background one, red two, and green four is in there. And this one is on an angle. And the other one is up and down. So note this one has a different background. So this one is background six, red two, and green four. And I also want you to note that in your directions, the color choices for the thread choices for this are incorrect on this block. They are actually the same colors as you used on this block, okay? So steps one, two, and three are 1725. Step four is 1521. And step five and six are 5934, okay? Our stitched block is this one, okay? This is our um, found in Garden Walk and Roundabout Stars. It uses background one, green one, and turquoise two. So there's your stitched block. And then our last stitched block, pieced block, is this one. It is found in Garden Walk. On page five, it uses pink one, green two, background six, and brown five, okay? This one was a little bit more challenging because you have to line these up, and this is a directional fabric. So I lined mine this way. You can do it however you want. You can have it going this way or however, okay? I will share the screen. I have my PowerPoint. I'll just share that with you. Screen. Any Okay, there's my, so like I said, three designs, two designs that are pieced. Here's some of our embroidered blocks. You know how it is doing um, one tack or one placement line and then your tack down of the red and then you'll add your green and there's how it is stitching out, okay. Um, note the color change on this one. I talked about that a little bit, the center block. Always, that one is fun and we'll do that one two more times. 
Um, just remember to flip your fabric over when you're pressing. I did have some questions on this. This will help get rid of these little, um, they look like puckers, but they're really not. Um, they're just wrinkles from the, from the um, embroidery and they press right out, okay? Um, here's just a little reminder on centering your, your design. I had a question on that. I like to use this blue mat under night. It's a, it's a um, tool for lining up. You note that the black line shows up really well on there. Um, if you're taking the time to line these up, you can actually cut this background fabric a little smaller because our, our blocks are six and a half. So you could go seven, seven and a half and save a little bit of fabric if you want, okay? Here are our quarter square and our diamond blocks right there. These are the fabrics that we used. Our, these are the ones that I used. You're always you know, more than capable of changing some out. This brown right here, I think would look really good with one of those blacks in there. I think that would be really sharp. Okay, um, this is cutting some of the fabrics for that, um, that diamond block, I think it was called. The second block, um, these squares, I just cut those ones were just cut in half. So you need two of those. And then these ones were cut into fours for each block. These were, you, you sew the two strips together and then you cut them across at two inches, okay? All of these I did with my little stripology ruler, which just works fabulous. And then square it up as always, um, I use my my small stripology, see how that dotted line helps us get right to the center and then just cut down there and it's nice and square. Um, this one was a little bit um, different because you had to square each time you added the blocks. So when I squared these diamonds up right here, I laid my quarter inch line from my ruler right here. And then I trimmed it a quarter inch out from that. So it was a quarter inch bigger because you need that quarter inch seam allowance, right? And so that's how I did that one. And I did it the same on this outside. I lined a quarter inch line there and then I cut a quarter inch away from it. And it was perfect, okay? So in summary, uh, the blocks went very quickly this month. Does that mean that they were very simple or are we just getting better? I think you will find this month's blocks to be similar to last month in their complexity, which wasn't very complex, right? Um, I did find the diamond block more challenging this month and I hope you are enjoying this journey. Um, and here is my email address. Um, you can catch me there. You can contact me through the shop. You can also message me on our Facebook page any way you need to do it, okay? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we are back to here. You do get an extra page this month um, with some directions for that second block. And that was this page, okay? And it just tell, helps you with the amount of cutting of that second block because the pattern that's in the book, you know, is for a different quilt. So they make a lot more of those blocks, okay? I think that pretty much covers everything this month, um, short and sweet. I hope that you are enjoying this as I am. So, uh, let me know if you need anything. I am here for you. As always, we will have our sewing group on Sunday again. Uh, this Sunday, I only had Sally, but next Sunday, there might be more. So we will talk again soon. Have a great day and happy sewing.